Hey everybody, welcome to a uh, Monday afternoon edition of uh, Keith's Beers. Um, I'm uh, enjoying a gorgeous day out today. We had some rain last night, the sun came out. It's it's a bit humid, but I, it's in the 70s. I think this is our first day in the 70s. It's supposed to get back for highs in the 40s during the rest of the week, so I'm going to enjoy it while I can. So today I'm going to do a really special one, I think. Um, I'm going to do from uh, Sam Adams. Their tribute to the new Albion Brewing Company. I'm going to do the new Albion Brewing Company. Pale Ale. New Albion Ale. Um, a little bit from the website. I don't know if uh, anybody uh, knows beer history, but the new Albion existed like from 76 to 82. Um, the first microbrewery... Uh, I, I never had the uh, the the pleasure of uh, drinking it fresh and uh, drinking it when when the brewery was in existence. But uh, anyway, it says um, from the the bottle. There's really nothing on the Sam Adams site even about it. it. Says Jack McCullough's pioneering spirit paved the way for the American craft beer revolution. We're re-releasing his original pale ale with its distinct American hop hop character for, for the first time in 30 years in, in honor of Jack and his contributions to craft beering craft brewing cheers uh, it comes in at six percent ABV I know absolutely nothing about it um, I know they did uh, Sierra Nevada did a Jack and Ken's ale in uh, in, in tribute to him um, as part of their 30 30th anniversary release beers I did did get to try that one it was stellar so um, let me uh, get this uh, new Albion ale in a glass got a new cap I think they've uh, probably recreated the original label and everything. Just a really nice looking bottle. I may just keep that as a souvenir. Get this cap off of here. Nice new cap for my collection. Sun's sort of iffy right today, but hopefully that'll show up. Uh, anyway, let me get it in the glass. Well, it's really light colored, uh, even for a pale ale. Um, we got a crystal clear golden straw color. Got a finger, maybe a finger and a half of a uh, snow white head. It's just really fluffy looking. Lots of big bubbles. Uh, lots of carbonation streaming up. A very well carbonated beer. Um, the head's dissipating almost immediately. I figured that would happen with the big bubbles. Just got a nice uh, ring around the glass, but let me get a nose on this. Okay, it's kind of it's malty and buttery up front. Um, just a really uh, slight uh, note of hops in the background. Real subtle. Um, might be a almost slightly sulfurish type note there. Some grassy hops. Uh, that that sulfurish note is not uh, off-putting or anything like that. Um, it's a touch floral, just a just a very hint of hint of hops. It's primarily a uh, malty kind of bready, buttery beer, that's for sure. So, let me give it a taste. Well, it tastes nice. Um, definitely malt forward, as the nose would indicate. Um, cereal and biscuits. Um, just a light, um, almost a light pine finish on the on the end there. A little bit dry. But you definitely got the um, the biscuity malts right right from the front. Um, some uh, crisp, grassy um, floral hops kick in there about mid note. Um, I'm getting just a hint of that slight sulfurish note again. Uh, not sure what that is, but it's got that dry, piney finish. That's for sure. It's a medium light mouthfeel. The the carbonation is. Um, you can really feel it on your tongue. It uh, it kind of leaves a a buttery aftertaste, a sticky finish, uh, but a little bit bitter, a little bit dry. So uh, nice tasting beer. Um, almost reminds me more of a pilsner than anything. But uh, let me sit. I'll get some more back in the glass, and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts. And 
Okay, I'm back. It's only been 10 minutes or so. I'm, I'm really enjoying this beer. Uh, overall, it's uh, not a bad beer. It's pretty refreshing. Uh, uh, compared to the pale ales we get nowadays, as the beers have evolved over the years, um, uh, it's it's decent. Uh, decent, definitely drinkable. Um, but again, it's still, it still kind of reminds me of a Pilsner. Um, but the story behind this is cool, so, you know, and kudos to uh, Jim Cook and the Boston Beer Company for, you know, bringing this back, reviving it. Um, I think it's a cool project. Um, I'm certainly glad I got to taste it. Um, you know, it's 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 a step back into into brewing history that, uh, you know, many of us who weren't around in California at that time never got a chance to experience. So, I'm thankful for that. Um, as far as the, the beer itself, it's a darn good effort. Um, I'm glad to have tried it. Uh, I may or may not, uh, I haven't seen it locally. I just picked up this single bottle uh, on my last out of town trip, but uh, darn good beer. Uh, not a great beer, especially for a pale ale. Like I said, it makes me, makes me think of a Pilsner, especially with its uh, malt forwardness and everything, but uh, darn good beer and uh, Glad I got to taste it. I I don't know how accurate it is as as far as re actually recreating the beer, but uh, I'm sure they'd put some research into it, and it's pretty darn close. That's for sure. So I'm gonna give the uh, uh, from Samuel Adams the, the, the and it says New Albion Brewing Company, their New Albion Ale. I'm gonna give it a good solid uh, 7.5 out of 10. I don't know if you can read this or not. Uh, this is to learn more about this special beer, visit us at x.co slash New Albion or scan the code below. I don't have, I've got a stupid phone, so, but uh, maybe you can read the, read the, the website. It's, like I said, x.co x slash New Albion. So, um, I didn't find anything on the Sam Adams website about it, but uh, 7.5 out of 10, uh, Decent. I'm glad I got to try it. Thanks to uh, Boston Beer Company, Jack Cook, and everybody there for giving me a chance to taste it. So, till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.